Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jimmy, I'm dead. ringing right All now. Is dead. Would All someone is dead. please answer me? All I'm ringing dead. right now. All is dead. Would someone All please answer me? This is Chris. Hi, Chris. Hey. This is um, Wrath of Max from the chat room, which I can't talk yet because I'm sort of new. <laughs> you can talk. It's just that when we record videos, we tend to put the uh, voice on. Otherwise, we have people who say some not so nice things in the videos. Uh, yeah, I've watched virtually all your um, movies. Of, wow. Like, um, the Call of Help one was pretty cool when you went crazy there. <clears throat> oh, yeah, when I, uh, that's when I hosted a show on Tech TV. Yeah, I missed the live broadcast, but I wish I wouldn't have. That's eh, okay. Well, you know, in many ways, what we're doing now is, like, so much better. I mean, can you imagine any kind of television station out there that would, A, open up the phone lines at 1.30 in the morning... And B two well, thirty here. Oh well, even better. <laughs> Let the yeah, host. I'm only fifteen, you know, and like uh, I'm still up at two thirty. So what are you? What are you doing up, dude? Um, no school yet. School starts the twenty eighth. So uh, yeah, I usually stay up till about five. So I'm guessing that uh, when school starts again, our viewership is going to drop by like seventy five percent. <laughs> yeah, um, I won't be watching you live at night. That's why I was going to yeah. ask you two questions. Yes. One, will you do this earlier in the day, you know, like about 8 o'clock at night? Uh, that would be a nice feature. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm going to start doing that because uh, there are people who live on the uh, East Coast who are missing out on a lot because I'm a night owl and I like get everything done during the day and then usually record at night but I am going to try to move my schedule if I do videos uh, as much as possible moving it uh, closer to the evening time evening hours generally speaking uh, so maybe starting yeah. starting here around probably late afternoon early evening I'm hoping for oh, okay that would be really nice sure and then second you know I um, just finished reinstalling this 64-bit, uh, actually, mm. because um, earlier today I turned on my computer and everything was gone. Whoa. It scared me, you know, and we've been having some issues with people on the internet threatening people, and I just got tired of it, and I blocked them, and then I wake up in the morning, nothing there, so I had to reinstall, and, you know, I have a, a video, oh, excuse the dog. It's okay, I've got um, We two. have an NVIDIA GeForce 7300 GT in my computer. Yeah. And the graphics seem to be about 1.0 um, Windows Experience Index down from 32-bit, and I don't know why. You mean after the reinstallation? Yeah, after the reinstallation, I have all the drivers back, you know, and everything is like it was before. Yeah. And it's point it's 1.0 down, and it's sort of scary. When you say 1.0 down, um. Do you mind clarifying? Like in the Windows experience in that... Oh, in, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, I I don't know how much um, <laughs> credibility I lend the whole Windows experience index thing. Um, yeah. I don't know why. I mean, it could be down for a, a variety of reasons. Either the drivers uh, are differently optimized than they were... Or, um, well, if it's all video performance, yeah, the only thing I could think of if no hardware changed would probably be tied into the software uh, of it. Um, but, you know, honestly, th this is the thing. The Windows Experience Index, it, it, that's the official ni name for it, isn't it? Like, uh, let me check that. Right, no, uh, right, index, yeah. right click you, my computer or computer, and then you'll see the yeah. rating, Windows Experience Index. Mine is unrated right now or as of the last hardware change. Um, yeah. The idea behind this is this benchmark. Right now, mine says 5.9. The idea is is that a, a, a regular old person could walk into the store, see a video game, and and wonder, is it going to run on my computer or not? Well, if the video game says it will run on computers rated 4 or higher, then you have a general indication that, okay, I'll be fine. Now, which NVIDIA card do you have? How About how old is it? It's uh, NVIDIA GeForce 7300 GT. Oh. And I got it in December when I bought my computer. Yeah, you're fine. And my computer is the um, AMD X264 64 bit oh, plus God. processor. You're so fine, it's not even funny. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about being one point off. I think it's either a glitch, ghost in the machine, 
uh, or it's just a, a driver is a little off kilter um, more than anything. Uh, if the rest of your numbers seem okay, it's it's a benchmark. It's a general benchmark. It's nothing. There don't put any. Uh, don't I, how how do I say this the right way? The numbers do mean something, but they also mean nothing at the same time. They're they're less for people like you and more for people who you know just walk into a store and are looking for better indications on whether or not software is going to be able to run on their computer. That's that's all it is. I I think you're fine. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. I think it's a I think at this point it's, if it's if it's not a, a driver issue, I'd chalk it up to a Vista problem. But I don't think okay. your, your your hardware can't drop by a full point. Uh, either that, or when you're running benchmarks, something else got in the way, and and, and it, it caused that to be a little off. But I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. And then I just wanted to say, you know, um, or ask you, how much did you spend altogether building your computer? Um, this one, I cobbled together a few parts. I ended up getting the. Uh, AMD to send me a review of the FX64. Oh, you're uh, lucky. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, that, that, that saved me a good chunk of change. And from then, I just kind of put together a couple of hard drives uh, that I had lying around. I had uh, a couple of uh, NVIDIA. Uh, these are the, I think there's uh, the 7900 GTX. I, I forget. Oh. I've, like, swapped out so many video cards in, in recent years. I've, I've kind of lost track of it all. Give me a second. I'll get you the exact spec here. Uh, yeah, 7900 okay. GTXs. Um, and I knew I wanted those because I wanted to be able to run two gigantic monitors. Um, and uh, it could. this one probably around, it would have cost, um, without that uh, compensation, probably between, probably about 4,000, right around the 4,000 mark. And that's always, for me as an enthusiast, that is about as low as I'd want to spend on a system that I was intending on running like as my workstation, as my main station. At any time, and understand, I built my own before this one too. Uh, that one lasted five years. It was an Intel P4, the, one of the first hyper-threaded processors that Intel released. Uh, it lasted five years. It was fine. It was great. And, uh, you know, when it was time to move up, you know, it was like, well, I was a little worried about it at that point. I was like, is, are the hard drives going to fail? Is it, you know, is it too slow? What's, you know, I need something faster. Um, I couldn't spend, in good conscience, I would not spend less than four. Now, that being said, if my dad were to come to me and say I want a new computer, I'd be looking more in the, like, $1,000 to $2,000 range because he's not going to see anything more out of that. In fact, the, what I would spend more on with him would be a video card because he likes playing flight sims. So I'd want to get a video card that would be uh, capable of handling you know much more than the average video card might be in a the average thousand dollar to two thousand dollar machine. Uh, but as an enthusiast, I wouldn't spend much less than four thousand dollars when I went to get a new system. That's but that's me. I don't recommend that for everybody. That's my threshold because I realize that anything lower than that, it's like, well, I, yeah, maybe I want some bragging rights. Maybe I want the latest and greatest. That's just me. Yeah, I wish I could do that, but unfortunately, fifteen years old without a job, hey, it's not happening. I trust me. I understand. Under and you should know this. And I've re I've talked about this before. I didn't own my first computer until. Gosh, I was 20 or 21, and that cost, well, the first one I bought was just a junker. It was like $200. Didn't even have a hard drive, but the, it, it, was a, it was a computer that did what I needed it to do. Get online, get onto some BBSs, uh, download my email. Or I couldn't even download email. I mean, view my email on the server, um, but my first computer was about $2,200, uh, and I got that. I had to get a $500 credit limit. That was my first credit card. Um, and, and so I, I, I went into debt to get my first computer, into a $2,000 computer, which at that point was really, uh, I wouldn't say the highest end, but that was the average price for a computer uh, back in 1990. Uh, ni Windows 95 had just been released. Um, no, no, it hadn't when I bought the, the Packard Bell, no. I was, it was still Windows 3.1, and it was about $2,200. Yeah, it, 95 wasn't even out. So, I mean, you're lucky in the sense that all the technology you have around you now at 15 years old, you have no idea how lucky you are to, to even be able to have, uh, you know, even a computer. <laughs> oh, I'd kill. I would kill to be in your position. You have no idea. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, 
But yeah, thanks, Chris. Hey, it's no problem. Say, you know, I beat Mark and Cat getting on the phone because I'd be on speed dial every <laughs> time I called you, and I actually got in. <laughs> yeah, man. Spe- well, I, I, I was gonna say we began talking about, you know, what television network in their right mind would would let this happen. I'm eating pudding. By the way, in case yeah, I not, I I'm, can see that, and you know, I called you right as soon as I heard you say the phones are open. And really, I just had to start laughing because you all of a sudden the phone rang and you looked over like, "Wow, fast!" <laughs> yeah, it's usually oh. a, a. I should get a, a cricket chirp um, sound for my phone. Yeah, I but, wish I could do the same for ringtones as your phone, but my phone. It's a GE from Walmart, and it has the weirdest ringtones, and I just finally said, forget it. I'm going to choose this one, and that's it. <laughs> so, I, you know, I... I all right. Very cool. Yep. We'll talk to you later. Bye. All right.